Today we will see how to make a mediocre output from any rendering software to something like this. What's going on fellas, I'm Geo and this is Geo Creations. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, first see how I did the model. So the example which I'm showing here is the render that I've done for my thesis. This one's a shopping center having two floors above the ground and two floors below. So I wanted to set up views that can show that there's a space underground. By the way, if you want to check out my thesis, the link's down below. Also, let me know if you want me to make a full video about it. Okay, so this was the view I was aiming for. I started this project in SketchUp itself because I was too uncertain. All I had was some random sketches. I finished the walls and stuff here and this thing, it was from Rhino. This is how I started tracing it and then I made it into sub D, do, did some bridges and stuff and then I bought it into SketchUp and I cut these walls using the intersection method. Uh, this is what I did using Grasshopper, the Voronoi roof and also another one file over here which is the Voronoi pavilion like this i have scripted this and then use the script uh, with these curves and that's it like everything's on point so I, I can i can also randomize it just with the slider i decided to import them separately into lumion using lumion live sync so let me break down what i did here first i had to match the rhino model with sketchup both of them are synced with lumion live sync so i can still make changes next thing the materials i changed each and every single material here like the material was too boring when it was in sketchup uh, mostly i used lumion's inbuilt library and these are like custom textures you can also tweak the settings then i've added a lot of details like vegetations trees etc before that we need to set a proper scene so that we can make sure we are not overworking this is the scene i've actually set after making the scene active by adding a lot of elements one thing which is left is the humans uh, it could be a bit tricky because usually it's the hardest part people have different opinion about it some people choose silhouettes some people choose the default human models present in the rendering software but in my opinion people help to narrate a story using your render so it needs to be diverse and realistic that's why i use photoshop for doing that i made a full video about people in renders you can check that out by clicking on this i button or you can check out the link in the description here you can see i played some 3d human figures from the library these are the scale references which i'm going to replace them using photoshop now let's go and see the image settings before rendering uh, basically i added some precipitation uh, aurora borealis borealis i guess okay adjusted the exposure reflection actually set the preset to night added some light here and there a lot of light to be honest and then another one scene without the human and with a lot of precipitation effects and stuff these are the two scenes for this render and finally i made sure all the humans are in separate layers so that i can use the object styles layer visibility and hide everyone and that's it i'm going to render this using all the additional output except for normal map because you don't want need normal map so if you're confused like what are these additional output i made a separate video about that uh, you can check that out by clicking on this i button as well or else check the links in the description after rendering let's import that into photoshop let me open the file here it is yeah okay now we are in photoshop this is the final output and these are the messy layers and it took almost a day to just complete the post processing probably one of the most time consuming render i ever done i'm not gonna do it again so but don't worry i'm going to break it down layer by layer so sit back and relax and leave a like by the way first of all we need to bring in the raw output from Lumion or any other rendering software doesn't matter much one with the humans and one without and one has extra particle effects and precipitation effects so the human layer is just for reference the for you know the height references 
I've also imported the material ID. So it'll help to select a material just using the magic wand like this. And you can bring in a material or you can just color over it. Okay, let's turn on the layers one by one. So the first one is actually some a bunch of corrections like missing frames here. These are just lines or just a copy of layer underneath. And then this one, use the material ID to select all the gaps over here. I selected everything and then painted a light color. So this is smart filter, let me turn it off. And then went into layer style, took away the shadows from the underlying layer so that it looks like this. You can see here, see it is revealing the highlighted portions, which is underneath. So we have to hold on Alt to split it so that it looks natural. Okay, so it's almost done. It looks like it is glowing, but I also added a Gaussian blur so that it looks like the light is spilling a bit. Gaussian blur and hue saturation adjustment. Uh, I made it into a small object so that every single adjustment stays inside it. And hue saturation, yeah, it's for giving it a bit of a yellowish tint. And then I made some corrections using the stamp visible layer. So you can see here I made a whole new pathway. I've just selected this particular area and painted it using stamp visible layer. Next thing, uh, this one is actually a curves adjustment layer. Uh, this is matched over this particular area using the material ID. So you just have to select a particular area using the material ID like this. And you can just hide it. Adjustments, curves. So it'll automatically mask everything. You can just adjust that particular area. So that's what I did there. Where it is, yeah. Huh. So that's it. That's the curve adjustment layer right there. And then again, it's a correction. The like, you no, know, the glass polycarbonate sheet is actually coming outside. So I've used stamp visible tool to hide it. And then I've added a handrail for the staircase, which is going underground. And then, okay, reflection. So this is actually fairly simple. Uh, I've selected this particular area, bought in a reflection texture, masked out the rest of the area. So here you can see the selection here, like I've just masked out. And then I've changed the blend mode to screen so that the darker part vanishes. And then a bunch of smart filters to adjust the color, like hue saturation, use control U and levels control L. You can always double click on it to edit it because it's a small object. That's the advantage over there. And again, another one layer to make it more realistic. Did the same thing for every single glass area. Also, I did not do any interior work, like reflection or a way to hide it actually. And then specular reflection, yeah, this is the material ID. Then a bunch of lights. It's just the same thing as what I did here. I used a brush tool with a big size and use a light color to just paint like this and then you can change the blend mode to screen Then you have to double click you can take away stuff from shadows a bit like this so it all almost looks like a light so it's not perfect we have to reduce the opacity it looks like a bright light that's how i did every single light over here so this is one of the important group layer the backdrop so i've actually masked the particular area and everything else was stock images I've used this image and a bit of fog again another layer of fog some stars I know it's not real to have stars in such environment it has a lot of light pollution but I know it's unreal but why not yeah I just did it, it looks cool after that some red lights green lights white lights and yeah so some vegetations here. How I did this is I used a texture, just uh, just a green texture, used a brush, custom brush, which is almost like a vegetation leafy brush and masked it, masked out the areas which is not necessary. And then another one layer on top of it, I just used a brush tool to actually darken it. Yeah, there are multiple ways to do that, but yeah, I did it like this. I corrected some texture here. 
some variations so that it looks real some lighting some greens curves curves i just selected this area and applied a reflection texture over it some more lights and yeah brought back some details here using curves and finally the people so i used the previous people layer to adjust them accordingly so where yeah here is the layer it's the people layer i actually placed all the people by using this layer as the reference so that i we don't have to worry about the scaling we have to worry about disproportionate people and the layer below was the shadow layer i used a elliptical brush and also a bit of a layer style and opacity there's no much complication i just straight up used a circular shadow and then lighting before it wasn't responsive to the ambient lighting now it is i actually gave some light accordingly to each and every individual subject so that it looks real and then a gradient map with this color palette where it is yeah a gradient map overlay with this color palette so i just wanted this kind of a feel to my render so i used this color palette and used a gradient map uh, yeah used a gradient map like this and kind of try to follow this color palette like this is the darkest area and this lightest area uh, reduce the opacity to actually 30 here so this is how it was looking uh, as soon as i applied it and then i've reduced the opacity so this is before applying gradient map and this is after and then I used Ctrl, Shift, Alt and E to create a stamp visible layer. Then used camera raw filter. Uh, this is one of my favorite part actually like you now. Uh, you can do a lot of lighting effects and stuff here using camera raw filter. It's almost similar like Lightroom and then some more corrections. And I just did some denoise and blur effects here. That really looks good and that's the output and of course this is not a full tutorial it's just an overview of like how i did it let me know if you want such videos in future i've just tried something new uh it's not completely scripted to be honest you can also talk to me on instagram at geo german don't forget to leave a like on this video if you got some value out of it subscribe for new awesome videos signing out for now catch you guys in the next video see ya